Hob, a dearest friends, this is again another reflection in the garden. A uh, little while ago, one of my friends, one of my patients, uh, was asking me about the whole um, pain that um, this friend endures, seeing others in pain and um, seeing others in trials and tribulations. And it really did not make sense to her to see all the people in the world having such pain, such difficulty. And so we were talking about what are we supposed to do? What are some of our priorities? What are some of the ways that we would um, get engaged in this whole notion of relieving pains and relieving difficulties and to what extent we get engaged and to what extent we um, join in all those questions that I'm sure all the good people in the world have and um, so the discussion reminded me of the story of the little boy I guess one other time I've said it and the wisdom of difficulty trials struggle and pain the little boy and the caterpillar so now in my garden this morning as i came i saw one more monarch caterpillar munching on the milkweed right in front of my eyes close to me and i know the process is going to be this caterpillar finally um, making a cocoon and going in there and uh, eventually uh, going through the transformation inside of the cocoon. And then the coming out of the cocoon, which is a very, very difficult struggle, as I understand. And the struggle has a wisdom. And that wisdom is as the... Um, little butterfly is trying to get out of the cocoon will press against the little hole the, the circumference of the little hole that is supposed to come out this force this pressure this trial this difficulty this pain this struggle will ultimately force the the blood to go through all the peripheries distance veins in its wing and it livens and really activates in essence the wing so the butterfly is able to fly so much reminds me of the words of Abdul Baha when he talks about himself he says oh god please do not take away i'm just paraphrasing the pain and the and the tests and the difficulties that i am feeling and i am experiencing because Without them, I would not know where I am standing and what I can be doing and how I am faring in the whole um, um, scale of what is it that Baha'u'llah wants me to be and who he wants me to be and how he wants me to serve humanity. So tests and difficulties, as much as we feel for people who are... Um, experiencing it um, you don't want to remove the test you don't want completely to alleviate the test it gives us tremendous joy and tremendous um, pleasure to um, help somebody who is going through test and difficulty by the way I find another caterpillar right behind um, this little thing on the um, leaf behind it you can see that so a smaller one so yeah, we, in counseling, um, it's not the job of the counselor is not to relieve and take away the tests and difficulties and make life easy. That's not, that's not really um, the best thing we can do. And there is another one, my goodness, right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is another one right there. Okay, <laughs> I'm just discovering. Oh my goodness, there's another one right there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's another one down below. Oh, wow, 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 I'm just getting too excited. See way, way down below. Wow, this is amazing. What I, what I just, all of a sudden there's a 
something explosion of all these caterpillars. So anyway, so our job as parents, our job as counselors, our job as community members is not to go alleviate completely the pain, but the struggle and remove the um, uh, the pain or open up the hole for the caterpillar to plop out and not be able to send the, the blood to all its um, extremities, but to support. And the whole notion of support is a whole field and whole um, science of how do we support. Um, for example, you have a vine, you know, a grape vine, and or you have, let's say, my beautiful gladiola here was just bending and uh, halfway down. And the whole notion of support is not about um, completely taking away the chance for the person to try and struggle and work hard, but rather be, be there and understand, especially understanding, especially acknowledging, especially spending time, being there, listening, um, consulting, um, exploring um, ways that the person can participate in solving their own problem, whether it is poverty, whether it is um, lack of motivation, whether it is um, knowledge, whether it is wisdom, whether it is um, uh, ability to talk to others and get other support, because that is itself a fantastic, necessary um, skill to have, is about teaching them um, how to fish, is not about giving somebody a fish. So parents and teachers all uh, have this great responsibility of learning how to teach somebody else how to fish and not literally give them a fish so they would become deprived of the opportunities to struggle and try and work hard and learn. So this is um, the situation of the world today really demands and asks for a lot of us to um, to just join in and, and help. But we have to, as, as Baha'u'llah says, have knowledge, have wisdom, have spiritual insight, and have ability to articulate an eloquent speech. So those are all requirements of any of us who want to be able to be of support in the right way, in the, in the manner that activates other people, makes them able to fly rather than deprive them of opportunities of struggling and learning how to fly. So I think that should be good enough for today as a result of the caterpillar in the garden. No wonder Baha'u'llah and Abu Baha and the guardian all refer to so much mysteries in the garden. And here it is. Let's finish with my hungry caterpillar, by the way. That book, Hungry Caterpillar, uh, I understand it is one of the best children books in the world. Um, so maybe those of you who have children, you could find it and find out about it and see how you can use it in education of ch spir spiritual education of children, actually. Hungry Caterpillar. And there it is. My one of my hungry caterpillars in the garden. Love you guys. Bye bye.